All right, so today we're gonna do an oil chained Jamaican style. All right, so first thing in doing an oil change is you have to get to the oil plug or the oil screw which would normally be under the bike somewhere under here if you look at my oil level you can see that my level is about halfway um, but the oil is really thin I haven't changed this oil in like months okay so to get started we're gonna remove the oil screw which is this thing right here and to remove the oil screw we're basically going to use a ratchet and this is a size 17 on it and I also have my extender on it as well just for easy use alright so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the oil screw and then what I'll do is to set my little um, drain bowl here I'll set it so that the oil can run out Alright, so basically I had to drain out some of the oil because the bowl actually full up. So now we just basically allow the oil to drain for about 5 to 10 minutes or more. Sometimes you want to tilt the bike a little, give it a shake. So just to make sure so all the oil actually come out. And you may see oil on the ground right there or as you can see there's a lot of oil on my hand easy remedy just rub some sand on it so like this a handful of sand just rub your hand in the sand and um, the sand will help to like basically degrease your hand and clear off all the oil just rub up your hand on some sand and then you um, wash your hand with some normal soap and you'll be good so this is my hand half after I applied the sand and some normal washing soap you know whether powdered soap or you can use dishwashing liquid it clears the grease really nicely basically you want to get all the oil out of the bike uh, once once you realize the dripping um, actually slow down or actually stop then you can reinstall the bolt that is right there just put it back up uh, screw it back and um, following that then you just open the oil cap then you throw a new oil. The oil has actually stopped. So what I'm going to do, just to ensure that all the oil is out, I'm going to go over and give the bike a little shake and uh, um, tilt it a little bit just to ensure that all the oil comes out. Alright, so basically all the oil drained out. So now what we're basically doing is we're going to put back the screw which is right there, that's the oil screw and we're gonna just basically screw it back up to close the oil drain part there <laughs> and um, then we're gonna put in new oil. So now basically what we're gonna do, once we have the oil drain bowl tightened then we're going to um, loosen the, um, the oil um, cap. So basically I'm using a 12 spanner and just put it like that and just loosen. Alright, there we go. We got the oil cap loosened and now we're going to throw in new oil. So as you can see I created a mess with the oil right there. That's no biggie. Just get some dirt or some sand, throw on it and just in a couple of days it will just wash away I guess so now we're basically gonna put the funnel in there so once we have the funnel in there then basically what we're gonna do is to throw in um, the new oil for now I'm using this Supreme 2050 um, normally I would use this AMS oil 
Alright, Amzal is really good. This one was for $1,500, 1500 Jamaican dollars. But I'm not using Amzal anymore. Um, personal reasons. Amzal is good though. So, for now I'm going the cheap way. And my bike actually uses two bottles of oil. Um, I think it's what? One bottle is one quart. My bike uses what? Two quarts? Yeah. <laughs> So I'm gonna just throw this in. Nice fresh oil, yeah. So that's one bottle down. We have another one to throw in there. And then we're good. So while you're throwing in the oil, you also want to check your view hole here. <laughs> I don't even remember what it's called. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, so we got both bottles of oil in. Uh, we can check right we can check right there and we can see that the oil is all the way up so normally what you do now take out your funnel all right for some reason my audio went out there so basically when you're done pouring in the oil uh you're just gonna put back your oil cap screw it back in um and tighten it up a little bit then once you have your oil cap in and everything is tightened you know the drain bolt is tightened then you're going to start the bike let the bike run for around what three to five minutes just so that the oil can circulate throughout the engine and then it will give you a more then it will give you a, a better picture of uh, the oil level actually so right now i'm going to start the bike all right so right now you can take a look at the oil level and you'll actually see that the oil is going down. That's not a bad sign. The oil is just circulating through the engine, which is good. And you also may be wondering, what am I going to do about that mess under the bike, all that oil? No problem, man. Right, so now that we allow the bike to idle for a couple seconds or minutes then you see the oil level went right back up so once you got everything bolted back on screwed in and all then that's basically it that's basically how you change the oil in your bike thank you all for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed the video remember to click like subscribe <laughs> and share with a friend if you liked it or if you know someone who might need it thank you guys paradise biker